Hi, welcome to the tutorial where I want to teach you how to make my new concept in Adobe XD. My name is Hannah and I'm a student at International Bridge University in Sarajevo. I have made a pretty basic and easy to use menu concept. In the bio, you can find the beginner assets that you need to recreate the same concept. On the left side, you can see all the assets that we are going to use. Clicking here on all assets, you can change if some particular asset you want to see or edit. In the bottom left corner, beneath the Assets panel, you can find Layer panel and also the plugins. On the left side, you also have the tools that you can use for editing your artboards and making your apps or websites. First, we will start by selecting Artboard tool or just by pressing A on the keyboard. On the right side, you can see a pop-up window where you are selecting the size of your artboard. I am going to use iPhone X size. Press V on the keyboard for selection tool or just click it on the top on the left side. By double clicking on the artboard we are going to rename it as we wish. I am going to name it Home. You need to keep the artboard selected. After that click on the assets panel and I am going to choose dark blue gradient as a background color of my home menu. Take the rectangle tool and make it the size of your artboard. You should automatically adjust to the size of your artboard. Now we should add some text to our app, to our artboard. By pressing T on the keyboard, we can add text or just by selecting it from our assets panel. From assets, choose first font style to apply on our text. You can choose different font or edit the text in the panel on the right side. When you're writing the text just like this, it's going to be plain text. You need The text needs to be in a text box and you can add the text box in the right bottom cor corner. So uh, to the second text, apply second text style or any other you find suitable for your app. You can see these two artboards where you can find icons and colors for your app. We're going to select this icon and copy it to our working artboard like so. And change its color from assets panel. By holding Alt, you can see guides when arranging objects on your artboard. From components at the search bar. By following the same process, add image placeholder bar. To select the image in placeholder, you can just click it or select it from the layers panel. To copy the components, press Alt key while dragging it where you want to place it. Hold Shift key and keep the alignment straight. I'm going to uh, add images by drag and drop, but you can also use some plugins to upload your images. Select the artboard and all icons on it and group it. You can group it by pressing the right mouse key and pressing group or simply by pressing Ctrl G on your keyboard. Now duplicate the artboard by holding the Alt key and dragging it to the right side. I'm going to rename it to Menu. Double click to select the background rectangle. Resize it by clicking on one of the corners and dragging it while holding Shift and Alt key. We 
we're going to use the shape from the search tab and put it in the top left corner. I'm going to use the shape as a profile picture for my app. After that, I'm going to the icons artboard and I'm going to select menu icons and place them on artboard and position it as I like. Now we are also going to add some text by pressing T on the keyboard. For the name we are going to increase the size to 22 and make it bold. We are going to change the preview of menu icon to X by rearranging the shapes. Double click on the icon or select it from layers panel. It needs to be under 45 degrees to form an X shape. After that, we need to make an instance from the menu icons to the home artboard. Copy and paste the group to the home tab. Make sure that they have the same name for animation to work. Reposition the icons outside the artboard and move the text outside to create visually better transition. But it is important the group stays inside the artboard and break its opacity to zero. Return the home board back to its original position. This is how finished design looks like. We have our home page and also our menu page. So now all we need to do is prototype it. So go to prototype and select and highlight the home artboard by clicking on home to start the preview from this artboard. Double click on menu icon and drag the handle to meet the second artboard. On the right side panel adjust the interaction. Set the trigger to, tri to tap and type to auto animate. Easing to snap and duration for 0.6 seconds. Select the X closed icon in second artboard and join it to home artboard. Use the same settings as basic previous ones and you're good to go. When you finish that, your design is ready. If you want to preview it, just press the desktop preview button to see what you have done and the prototype will appear. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe and also a comment if you like it and suggest me what I could do better.